Welcome, everybody, to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. Taking a look here at some of the numbers for D'Angelo Russell. And, guys, how about the surge of offense he's experiencing right now? These last five games, he's been a machine at the offensive end. A different score than he had been earlier in the season. We'll find out if he can keep it going here tonight. And now the Lakers starting group. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Then it's Cameron Reddish. Then there's Prince. And it's Reeves in at the point. And for Boston. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Porzingis is out there with Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the one. Well, certainly some names on the floor, Greg, that we've seen in the NBA for many years. That in consideration, what kind of game can we expect with a grizzled group on the floor? And, and Kevin, these types of games tend to be kind of methodical. Uh, vets aren't afraid to give the ball up for a better look, and we should see a clean game here tonight. Now here's Tatum over LeBron. It's good from about 19 feet. Just tremendous confidence from Jason Tatum. This guy understands I am a scorer even at the most elite level. Kicks it out to James. Porzingis against Davis. Pass to Reeves. Launches a three. That one's in his first shot this game. And I like Davis's decision making. Fantastic. Always great at understanding when to move the ball. Holiday finds White. Charity stripe shot. Rebounded by the Lakers. Last time they met was in Los Angeles. And coming into that one, looking to be competitive, but the disparity in talent, just too great. You had the sense that they expected that result. Once they dug themselves into a hole, I thought they let go of the rope. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary, even more difficult to defend. And what happens is the court just opens up. You like seeing him get into a rhythm from outside the arc. Love it. LeBron passes to Davis. Kicks to Reddish. And the pass to Reeves. Reddish dishes to Prince. Lock at six. James against Tatum. Goes back up. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. You know, outstanding start. You've made three of your first four. Lakers shooting their first free throw of the contest. What's striking about LeBron James is how his game has morphed to now it's all about guile and smarts and experience. He continues to dominate just in a different way. Now here's Brown. Last game we saw him score 13. Pass to Persingas. Holiday looking for an opening. Three pointer. And again, Boston with the triple. A solid outside game. Holiday has good lift on his J. And at 6 4, he can get his shot off against just about anybody. Here's Reeves. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And here's White. He'll bring it up for Boston. They trail by one. Tatum kicks to Porzingis. Holiday against LeBron. Passes it to Tatum. Over Reddish. Here's Porzingis. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Well, you've got size and length. So Kristaps Porzingis, the extra possession. Out to the wing. Reeves the pass to James. Lakers passing it around. Shoots it up. Nice jump shot. Good. LeBron's got five. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Now here's Brown. Still yet to score. Over Prince, and there are the Celtics with another basket. 
Yeah, Jalen Brown working in that mid-range area. This guy knows it's got to be a part of your game. Tatum against LeBron. He kicks it to Reddish. A three-pointer, no good. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Austin on top. They're up by one. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Boy, it's been a really pretty thing to watch, executing their game plan to perfection. The Lakers trail. Tatum in the front court, alongside Horford. And it's Benton in at the shooting guard. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. LeBron, no good. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Great D that time from Tatum. James has gone two for five tonight. In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. Horford sets a screen for Tatum, and a miss there on the triple. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are playing with a high level of motivation. All-star Jason Tatum says what we talk about before the game, halftime, is win by any cost, by any means. Figure it out, win the game, and build great habits along the way. Kevin? Still room to grow. David, thanks. Here's Banton following the basket by LeBron James. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. There's Russell with the three, sinks the three-pointer. Russell's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Russell is continuing to develop that deep perimeter shot. He's got to continue to be a factor from there. Pritchard passes to Tatum. Pass to Banton. Here's Pritchard. He's now one for two with that bucket. We've got 148 left to play in the first half. There's the pass to Christie. No one here, James, as he lets it go. His three pointers off the mark. No doubt, Craig, Jason Tatum is an all NBA player, and this guy continues to improve. And JT scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on a finals team at just 24 years old. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here.
And a new group in for the Celtics. Porzingis is checked in for Luke Cornett. Jalen Brown comes in for Tatum. Whitey's checked in for Delano Banton. And it's Holiday in for Pritchard. A big group substitution here for the Lakers. Davis is checked in for James. Prince comes in for Rui Hachimura. Reddish, he's checked in for Christie. And it's Austin Reeves in for Russell. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. First free throw is good. That misses, so he splits the free throws. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. And Porzingis had a lot of suitors, GA, over the summer. Eventually, the Celtics made the move for him. Porzingis rehabbed his game and value in D.C. With the Wizards rebuilding, he was a prime trade target. Boston went for him early, and he could be a difference maker for the Celtics. And again, no good by the Lakers. Well, tremendous defensive effort on the interior. That's the kind of contest you want. Outside, Horford. Brown finds White. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Here's Reeves, guarded by Holiday. And it's Davis finishing it off. And he'll get ahead of steam when there's that much of a lane. You, you can't get in AD's way. And here is Brown. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Lakers lead by two. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. AD, you see how they're playing you in the first half. What's the adjustment going to be? So, you know, we got to come out with a great intensity, and it starts in warm up. So, we got to come out uh, with a great intensity, great mindset, and try to go out there and win the third quarter. I have never heard anyone say it starts in warm ups until now. Thanks, AD. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Hello, folks. Is this the halftime show? Yes, it is. And kicking it off, let's quickly look at the Western Conference standings. Yeah, taking a look at the Lakers, they're dealing with some challenges, no doubt about it. They have talent, but maybe not as much as they thought they had. The effort's been spotty. It's been a learning year for this organization. Now moving on to the Boston Celtics and the close first half they played. You love to see them get more assertive offensively. They're not earning calls or really going at the defense, so they have no chance to do damage at the line. This from a man who knows something about doing damage at the line. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. In those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. Well, you can see why they would continue to play through him. He was tough to stop, super assertive down low. Just great work. 
And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Checking out the group now for Darvin Ham to start the second half. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Then there's Prince. Then it's Cameron Reddish. And it's Reeves in a point. It's hauled in by Brown. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Out to White. Doris, when you and I think about the playoffs back in the bubble, you can see how much of an impact the fans have during games. Personally, Kevin, I hope never to see a bubble again because the energy and the atmosphere inside NBA arenas is so electric you can almost reach out and touch it. And obviously the players love the opportunity to perform in front of their home fans. And Davis puts it in. Taking back the lead once more. Give these teams credit. Man, they are battling. Neither team willing to give an inch and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. Now here's Tatum. And there's the call on James. That is his first foul of the game. Outside Holiday, Celtics passing it around. Here's White. The shot's good. Brown making the play. White's got the lead up to two now for Boston. The defense a step slow, and you can see the result. Los Angeles has gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Prince kicks to Reddish. Inside, stolen by Holiday. White the pass to Tatum. Throws it down, JT! That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. Pass to Reddish. Floats it up for James. And the layup's good off the glass. James has got 11. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Now here is Holiday. Guarded closely. Porzingis finds Brown. And here is Tatum. Ah, there's Tatum's range on display. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. There's a good screen. Passes it to James. Now, here's Reddish. White covering. Five on the clock. Kicks it out to Prince. Connects from three-point range. Prince has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. LeBron against Tatum. Up top, Porzingis. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Well, this is where Porzingis thrives. He is shot ready on the catch. Reeves the pass to Davis. Now, here's Reddish. Pass to Prince. To Reddish. James in the post. Tatum on him. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Al Horford is checked in for the Celtics. The Lakers also with a sub. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for Reddish. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Tatum deciding where to go with it. with the three and the last shot before the buzzer is off boy you love the hustle from the young guard D'Angelo Russell making a play with the defense the third quarter comes to a close Celtics out in front up by four and time for the short break and stay right where you are the fourth quarter is coming up next
And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Tatum in the front court alongside Horford. And it's Cornette in at the five. Home in the paint. That's the Boston Five. Lakers trail by four to the inside. James. And the dunk by James. A, a monster down low. LeBron James, the rare package of skill, size, and athleticism. Horford with a screen on Hachimura. Tatum against Hachimura. Shot by post. A nice shot by Tatum. And the Celtics lead by four. When you allow Jason Tatum to get going early and to build momentum offensively, it can be a scary night. The kick out to LeBron. Shot clock at six. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Horford. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. I mean, the three ball keeps falling and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. And the other thing, guys, credit their game plan. They've been getting the looks they want and they are executing at a high level. And a new group in for the Celtics. Zinkis, he's checked in for Luke Cornett. Brown comes in for Al Horford. Derek White's checked in for Mikhail Luke. And it's Holiday in for Pritchard. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? He was able to listen in on Darvin Ham and his team. Now he reminded his team, keep looking for the deep ball. If the three take is there, break. take it. Do so. You've done a good job getting those looks, so keep taking them. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. James against Tatum. It's stolen by Davis. The pass to Reeves. Out to the right wing. There's the pick. Now, here's Reddish. Light covering. Shot clock at five. With the teardrop. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And this is just A.D. doing what A.D. does, dominating the defense there and converting. Porzingis with a screen on Prince. Brown dishes to White. Brown feeling it out a bit. Lost to Holiday. And here's Tatum for three. Rebound the Lakers. Pass to LeBron to take the lead. Here's Davis. Oh, and they take the lead. And the Lakers lead by one. 
Stepping up. Davis is a fantastic option late. You, you know with that height and skill set, he's going to get a good look. Now here's Tatum. And the rejection by James. Davis, the pass to LeBron. Oh, LeBron's just too strong inside. Well, should any of us be surprised if they need a bucket, LeBron says, get me the ball, and delivers once again. Up top, Tatum. Covered by LeBron. Got it, and the local lead has been cut down to one in the bucket from Tatum. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. Here's LeBron from 10 feet out. A shot off that time. Great D that time from Tatum. Outside Holiday. Nails the triple. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. Now here's LeBron. Got it! A huge shot to tie it up. Yeah, there's not a person in this building who didn't know the ball was going to LeBron, and still he delivers. Now a timeout called by Boston. Tatum against James. A three ball. Frames the three, and yes, he'll go to the line for one more. That's on LeBron James. Falls for Tatum. That and one free throw ups it to a two possession game. Costly foul time out, time out. on the shot that time. Los Angeles calls timeout. They trail by four. 27 seconds left in the game.
27 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Reeves the pass to James. Second chance shot. It's good. And he has brought them to within two points. Yeah, refusing to let the possession end, making sure they convert LeBron James with a big time finish. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. Yeah, Derek White has a reputation for being rock solid. You'd like that to show up right here with a big free throw at stake. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. You've got to show composure, and he comes through right when the team needs him most. From deep, Prince. He can't get that one to fall. And so it's Boston scraping by with the win. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone's satisfied. I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Hey, thanks very much, Giroux. You fell behind early. How did you recover to come back and get the win? Just being consistent. Uh, we've been in situations like this before, a little bit more than we'd like to, so we just fought back, honestly, and from there, just kept the pressure and the momentum going. Well, it led to a win at the end, man, and that's all that matters. Thanks. Back to you. All right, D.A., thanks again. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Game, Jason Tatum.